Here are the top three considerations when looking at UVC. One, exposure rate and intensity. Depending on how much air you've got going past it and how many bulbs you have, you want to make sure you have the right calculations to ensure you're getting the kill rate you need for your facility. If you have too little of exposure time or intensity of those bulbs on the air, you're not going to get an effective kill rate on pathogens. Two, what wavelength is it? There's a couple different wavelengths of UVC out there, or far UVC, so ensure you're choosing the right wavelength for your needs. Our ISO air units use a 253.7 wavelength, which is ozone free and provides an excellent kill rate going through our unit. Three, service life. UVC bulbs typically need to be changed out each year. Look for an eight to 9,000 hour runtime on effectiveness of the bulbs. They actually last longer than that, but they lose their intensity and ability to kill things after that. Those are the top three considerations for UVC. Learn more about this technology along with HEPA and bipolarization at iso-air.com.